Welcome back to Guns 101. I'm Mitch, your host, and today we're going to talk about semi-automatic handguns. Um, this isn't a collector video, historical video. This is a for the new, either the new shooter or somebody that is into rifles, wants to get into pistols, somebody looking for an everyday carry, that kind of thing. So we're just going to very general 101 go over the basics. Uh, I like to put these in four categories, and why don't we just get started with the first category. All right, so we're going to take a look at the first category. The first category is full-size handguns. Uh, I put a revolver in here just to keep the revolver wheel gun people happy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a revolver. I have a few. This one's a double action uh, Ruger GP100. It's a pretty decent 357. Um, you can also put 38s in it for a lighter recoil. So I just wanted to show that, get that out of the way. This is a great gun to have you know, in your house or to carry with you in case you need it. Um, now keep in mind the issue with revolvers that a lot of people point out is you only get six rounds. Um, and I'm not a professional when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, you know, some guys can work this gun like crazy while I myself am a little bit slower with revolvers just because I'm not practiced. Um, if you're looking at it from, well, I like a revolver because I can work, you know, my old mother can work this action, it's more simpler, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to tell you that it's just because they are not uh, used to it. With a little bit of practice, a semi-automatic definitely is the way to go. I would recommend for an older person uh, the easy slide uh, Smith & Wessons that are out there, just because it's like working a BB gun, it's so easy to cock. Um, but there's that. So wheel guns out of the way. This is a 1911. Well, in this case, this is a Ballister Molina. Uh, so it's a 1911 without a grip safety. That's about the difference there. This isn't 45 ACP. This gun's been around. This design has been around since 1911. Um, even earlier, you can go with even an earlier model there. But this isn't 45, and this is something that is really good, you know, while it's a dated design, you only get seven rounds. Um, you know, 45 is not, not a bad round. Um, it's a little bit more powerful than the average bear that's not used to shooting. But having a full-size handgun, uh, and this is what people are talking about when they say full-size. To put that in perspective, I will grab a Glock 43. This is a carry size. And you can see the difference. So we put our... Sorry about that. So we put our mag in there. You can see the difference in, in how small the 43 is and how much you would have to conceal if you were to conceal or carry something full size. Uh, but to have, uh, to shoot, they're a lot of fun. And they're definitely something, you know, if you're gonna go camping or you're gonna have something in your house to protect you, it's not a bad route. If you just like 1911s, like when I was little, I always wanted one. So as soon as I turned 21, I bought I bought this. Uh, these are nice guns to have. I highly recommend it for the new gun shooter. If it's something you're thinking about, definitely go to, go to you're gonna hear me say this a lot, go somewhere, try it out. Um, go somewhere, rent it if you can, if you got a buddy that's got a 45, because it's a 45. Now, you can pick these up, this design, you could pick this up in a bunch of different calibers, um, but the most standard you're going to find is 45 out there. So that's what a full-size handgun looks like. When they say full-size, it's full-size semi-automatic, just a really nice uh, handgun. You got a lot of kick or a lot of stopping power there with that uh, 45 ACP cartridge. Um, to put that in perspective, what a 45 looks like, let me grab, so this is a nine millimeter, that's a 45. So you can see how much bigger that 45 is. Uh, definitely a lot more oomph behind it when you're shooting it. Now we'll move on to the next category. All right, our next category and I left the 1911, or in this case, Baluster Molina, up here so you can see what a full size compared to a what they call a subcompact. Now this is a Beretta Cougar. This is a more modern handgun. Um, you could find this something very similar to this in a full size. Uh, the Beretta Cougars aren't made anymore. I think Stoger makes a version of it now. But these are nice little guns. Uh, they would go on later to basically be the PX Storms. This one is chambered in 45. And it's what we call a subcompact. The barrel is much shorter than, say, if we overlap this. So 
to show you the difference there. You got a little bit. It's subcompact. So, one thing you'll see on more modern firearms, and this goes for full size as well, is this has an ambidextrous safety right here. So, if I was to cock the action and put it on safe, this decocks. So, decocks it. It's also safe. Double action, meaning we can cock the hammer single or we can pull the trigger. So it's a double action. You'll see that a lot more as these get older, or as, or as, as these get newer, I mean. Um, newer handguns, it's just the way they are these days, but subcompact. So you can get the power of a 45 with about two inches off. If you were gonna carry something, this is much more easier to carry than say a traditional full-size 1911 here. Um, to show you, on this 1911, there's no double action. You have to cock it or chamber around and then pull the trigger and it'll fire. Um, so that's the difference there. Ambidextrous safety as well, like I said, so you can work it on both sides. But, yep, this is a Beretta Cougar in 45. It holds about eight rounds in the magazine, which is one more round. So you'd be eight plus one, you'd be nine rounds here, whereas over here you'd be seven plus one. Um, so you'd be at eight rounds total. So one more round, a little bit tight, compact package there. Uh, these are really fun. I like this gun a lot. I do a lot of shooting with it just because I like uh, Berettas. Now, we'll move on to the next category. All right, so here's the last category. This is a Glock 43. This is what I would consider, consider a carry size. Um, to put that in perspective, it's even shorter and smaller and definitely thinner than a subcompact. This is a subcompact double stack. This is a uh, full size single stack. And this is a compact carry size single stack mag. What we mean by single and double is the way the rounds fit in here. This one, single stack. This one over here, they stagger more as they go in. You get a little bit more rounds down there. Now this one is the one I like to carry. This is a Glock 43. I put uh, Trichicon night sights on there. So you can see that sight picture, it's really easy to see. And these are striker fired. The only difference between striker and hammer, uh, it, for those wondering, so there's a little striker in here that fi hits the pin and then fires the gun. It also doesn't have a safety, but it does have this trigger safety right here. So unless you have a full grip on it, it's not gonna go all the way back. Um, and get a little bit more of a trigger pull on that first one, and then from there it's pretty easy trigger pull. Now, something like this, this is hammer fired, so you have this hammer. Most of the time hammers are external, but they do have internal hammer guns. So this is Glock 43. This is something if you're looking for a carry gun, I recommend. These are relatively cheap. Um, and I'll put the prices on the screen, but you can pick one. I think I paid like 325 for this. It came with the night sights and two additional mags. Uh, which is a, a killer deal for a little bit of rounds fired through it. So that's what I recommend there. Now, there's one more category that we're going to go over, and it's kind of just a fun category. I wouldn't really recommend it unless you're a hobbyist, but they do exist. And that last category is, so the last category, the last category here is pocket guns. This is a little Italian-made, little 22 caliber pocket gun. Um, and you can see how much smaller that is. Now, to really dwarf this gun, we'll put it up next to a full-size 1911. And you can see just how little this little guy is. It's a little tiny, got a mag, safety off, nothing in there so you guys can see that. And basically, put this in the frame, made in Italy. Uh, it's got a little safety right here. And this exact one, these things, I'm going to do an actual video on them later, but kind of reminds me of the noisy cricket from Men in Black. Uh, and these are the little pocket guns, so something like you can see just how little this gun is. It fits in the palm of my hand. To put this in perspective, we have our 45 that we talked about, we have a 9mm, and this is a 22 long rifle. It's a little tiny guy. Um, but these are great little guns to have, you know, if you wanted to 
just for self-defense, you know, to have one like in a purse, um, I would recommend a 43 or a Smith & West uh, m and Shield or, or anything, you know, more this style than one of these because of the ballistics on it. You're just not going to get that level of protection if you're looking for protection. Now, just to have, they're, they're really cool. You can get them pretty cheap and they function perfectly. Uh, I haven't had any issues with this one. You know, they're, they're gimmicky. This is very gimmicky these days. It's not like it's the cowboy days and I'm not a prostitute. So I don't really see uh, the practical purpose of it. But, you know, if it's all you got, if you're, you know, on a budget or something and you really just need something, this is better than nothing. You know, a gun is better than a sharp stick in the eye, as my dad would say. So that is our last category there of semi-automatic handguns. All right, so that's a close look at the four styles, um, more like three, because, you know, our little novelty pocket gun down here. Um, I wouldn't really consider, you know, unless you're just buying it for the novelty of it. Uh, so those are the three or four categories of semi-automatic handguns that you're going to hear about if you were to go around, you know, full, subcompact, compact, or carry and then down here we have our pocket gun. Um, those are the ones you're going to hear the most of. Uh, I hope this video helps you. It's, it's just a quick like little explanation because I get asked it a lot. What's the difference? Also, what's the difference between striker and hammer fired? Um, so just real simple, that's what we're looking at here, what we mean. So to summarize, we have something that you would have in your house uh, you may want to pack with you if you go camping or something like that go on a long trip something like that something you may actually consider carrying subcompact something with a little bit shorter barrel now that's not to say that a you know Glock 19 or a Beretta 92 uh, those full-size guns can be carried you could carry this if you really wanted to but if you're looking in the realm of well this is something I'm gonna carry every day highly recommend one of these two uh, you know what I like to carry this smaller 43 pocket or not pocket uh, compact something that I can carry with me that'll fit you know doesn't print as much that kind of stuff so just to show you guys it's not loaded there's that there so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh, please like subscribe and share and I'll see you down the road